Today we're gonna to be talking about how to create high quality Twitch emotes without Photoshop. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to techie reviews and tutorials, tutorials on Wednesdays, and techie reviews on Saturdays. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention I stream on twitch.tv slash Jaden Coyer. If you have a question about anything I talk about in this video, or just want to hang out and chat, feel free to click the link down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer I'd like to mention is that in order to actually install emotes on your Twitch channel, you have to be a Twitch affiliate. If you don't know what a Twitch affiliate is, I made a video for it. I'll link it down below in the video description below. Go check that out if you're not already a Twitch affiliate and let's jump into the video. So let's talk about some of the common designs that happen with Twitch emotes. A lot of people take the route of using the cartoony looks and making your face kind of look like a cartoony character and while that's cool i don't feel like that has a unique connection to your actual stream i personally feel like that the coolest emotes and this is proven on twitch the most used emotes are emotes that are cut out of a streamer's face so that is what we're going to be designing today i'm going to be taking a picture of myself i'm going to be cutting it out we're going to add a little bit of text and then i'm going to be showing you guys how to install it in twitch first you're going to want to take a picture of yourself you can use this with either your phone i did it inside of streamlabs obs and the way you can do this is you can either use the snipping tool or you can just screenshot on a, your computer those both work and then you can just bring it inside of the editor and then crop it out. I use the snipping tool because when I screenshotted it, it was a lot more stuff to just crop and snipping. You can just do it right then and there and don't have to worry about anything later. So it's all up to you how you do it, but I would recommend taking a picture of yourself with the best quality camera you have, whether it's your smartphone, your webcam or whatever it may be. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to upload it to your computer. If you have it screenshotted, it will be already uploaded to computer. But if you took a picture with your phone, you're going to want to send that picture to your computer or upload it to your computer. Save it with a name that you remember. So when you go back, you already know what it's going to be. So now you're going to want to open up Pixlr. I will leave a link down below in the video description below. It's a free photo editor. So you're going to want to click on advanced Pixlr E right here. Then you're going to want to hit create new. You're going to want to make the width and height 500 by 500. Then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Twitch Emote. Then you're just going to want to hit Create. You're going to be given a transparent little square right here. This is exactly what we want to see. Then you're going to want to go ahead and upload the picture of yourself in this square. So to add your photo, you're going to want to go to Layer, Add Image as Layer, then find your picture. Once you've done that, you're going to want to resize it to the size of the box. So you can just click, simply drag on it, grab the corners, and just resize it like so. Now this is a very weird picture I took. I'm gonna make this emote an awkward emote. So if something awkward happens in my stream or I hit it kind of a weird clip or something weird happens, my chat can spam this. First, you're gonna wanna go to the erase tool. Just click E on your keyboard or go over to this side. Then once you're done that, you wanna click on your layer right here with your picture. And then you can adjust the size of the brush. So I typically like to make it smaller. If it's too big, you can sometimes make mistakes and cut out certain parts you don't want. You can change the softness and there's a bunch of other little templates you can use right here. I'm just gonna click on this one right here. So it's smaller, because the smaller, the better. You can do more fine details. Then you're just gonna wanna go in and if you see, if you hold left click and drag, it makes the background transparent. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna cut around my face. So that means I can cut around my shirt and the background and everything like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you've cropped it all out, it might look something like this. It looks kind of funny and really silly, but now we're gonna add a little bit of an element that just kind of makes it look a little cooler. We're gonna add some text. So you're gonna go ahead and add a new layer. You wanna create a text layer. Then I'm gonna just put awkward and the abbreviation is AWK. So I'm just gonna put awkward. I'm gonna change the color to red so people can see it and it kind of stands out. And then I'm gonna change the font to something that's pretty big. So I'm gonna change it to this font because I like how it just stands out. And then I'm gonna play with the size so it like doesn't cover too much stuff. You can also make the text just extend out with this. So I kind of like this uh, right here. Now, if I go to the settings, you can make the text bold. I like that because it makes it pop out a little bit more. You can italicize it and do some other stuff. If you go to the styles, so I'm gonna add a outline. So I'm gonna make it black. 
right here and then I'm gonna make the size kind of small so it doesn't overpower the text but just kind of makes it pop out a little bit more you can also add a shadow but I don't really recommend doing that for emotes that's only for like if you're doing other things emotes are pretty simple I think so I'm gonna mess around with the size a little bit more I'm gonna drop it down just a tiny bit I think that looks pretty good it goes kind of under my, uh, my face a little bit so it's not covering up exactly what I want people to see and I'll overall I think that looks kind of funny I think that's a funny emote that I think my chat's gonna like to use on my twitch streams so let's go ahead and save it so you're gonna go to file save and make this 28 by 28 and then we're gonna make that 28 by 28 you're gonna hit file save and you're going to save this one to 56 by 56. This is the second size. I'm going to name this AWK 56 by 56. And then you're going to hit download. It's kind of a little bit of a tedious process. And then once you're done, do it one last time. Go file, save, name this one AWK as awkward. And this is going to be 112 by 112. You want to make the width and height that and then click download and you have saved all your different sizes. Now let's go ahead and open up Twitch. Just go to Twitch, click your little icon right here, go to creator dashboard, click the three bars up in the top left, go to right here and then go down to affiliate. Then you're going to go down to emotes. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit edit. Now I'm going to just delete my existing one to show you how to actually add it. And then you just want to upload each individual size. So 28 by 28. And then you're going to want to upload 56 by 56. And then you're going to upload 112 by 112. Now, when it comes to the unique code, this is the name that people are going to see when they click on your email. So I'm just going to put this as awkward. So this is what people are going to see. Now, I don't like how it has this name in front of it, but that's just how it is. Now, once you're done, you can just hit save changes. And there you go, you have uploaded your first emote. Now I created another one, it was a little bit of a rage emote that I thought was funny, taking still the same concept that I used in my previous emote that we just created, and you can do this for tier two subs, tier three subs, and the more subs that you get on your channel, the more emote slots will be available to you. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and you learned how to make Twitch emotes your twitch channel if you guys did go on to enjoy the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video where is he at all dead all dead there we go let's go baby they're gone